next step will assist her in bringing hope, motivation, and encouragement to you along life's journey. To understand okay, we'll that this work out for your good, to help you survive and thrive the test of life that may come your way to walk in destiny and purpose. <laughs> Father God, we thank you and we bless your name for what you're going to do here. Lord God, you have your way. Speak to us what you want us to say. In Jesus' name, amen. You speak, Lord. You speak. Hello, hello, hello. We are back. Sharon Dotson and... Wayne I. Dotson. <laughs> We are back in here today. Merry Christmas to you all. And we know that you're going to have a great Christmas. Ah, Wayne, how you doing today? Oh, yes, Ma. I'm fine. I'm well. It's Friday. It's two days before that big day on the Jesus Day. Hey, <laughs> it's all good. Long we alive. That's right. What you say on Jesus Day? That's right, because it's yes. all about him. What a special gift that was given to us, and that is Jesus Christ. Our Lord, and we are so excited about it. Today, guys, we have some special guests in here, and we're going to let them introduce their own selves because we have a lot to discuss today. This is a day where we are going to give you love, 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 the gift that God gave to us. It's all about Christmas. It's all about God's love today. First of all, we're going to have our first guest who's going to tell you who she is. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Renee Bryan, and I'm an educator and a licensed professional counselor. And I'm also the owner of Closer to Eden. Um, and if my business is all about helping people to become whole and helping people to get back to God's original intent and plan through the platform of counseling and education and also through mental health initiatives. I love doing workshops and consulting and counseling as well. So I am glad to be here with you guys today. Thank you, Sharon, for the awesome invitation. And I look forward to talking to you all today. Amen. Thank you so much, Renee. It's such an honor to have you here. And I know that our radio world will be blessed by you coming today. Um, our other special guest, she's going to introduce herself right now. Hi, everyone. My name is Tyler. I'm a um, self-published author. Um, a people person. I'm just here to try to leave the world a little bit better than I found it. So oh, thank you for wow. Me here. That's good. That's what I'm talking about. And, and she's a beautiful young lady also. Mm -hmm. God is so good today. He has two very, very, very special guests in here. We're going to speak some life to you the way that God gives it to us to tell you. And, you know, one thing, um, Isaiah, we... Um, Wayne, Isaiah, his name is Wayne Isaiah, y'all. Y'all be hearing me saying that all the time. Mom, they know. They know my name. They've been through this a lot. Before. I know. <laughs> um, uh, Wayne, um, we were talking the other day about um, some things concerning Christmas and people who are e either less fortunate, that don't mm -hmm. have the money to spend on gifts to yeah. give their loved ones, or people that have lost loved ones. You know, due to COVID, we have lost yes. loved ones, you know, and um, as a, a counselor, mental health counselor, um, some of my clients were saying, you know, Christmas is just not Christmas because, mm -hmm. you know, the ones that they love are not here anymore, yeah. and, you know, they don't know how to accept Christmas. So today we are going to give you a hope, to That's inspire right. you, to give you something that only we as loving you can give you. And that is the gift of love from Jesus Christ, because that's the one we're supposed to be celebrating anyway. Uh, you all agree with me? What y'all yes. think about that? What you think about that, Renee? Celebrating the real meaning for Christmas. Yes, I think sometimes we get caught up in all of the busyness yes. of Christmas. Yes. The getting the gifts, the preparing, um, you know, meals. And if you're having a yes. party or inviting people over, just we get bogged down in the busyness yes. of Christmas. And I think sometimes we forget that Christmas is it's deeper than that. It's deeper than that. I know that's right. Because, you know, if we're not careful and we forget about the real meaning of it is spreading love spreading joy and even more God's gift to us was his love most of all and you know it could become stressful it could become agonizing anxiety and all of that stuff if we allow it but we will not allow you to let it this year 
because we're here to lift you up and to show you the difference in Christmas this year is going to be good for you because we want to give you and show you how God's love is so important to give to others. Um, Tyler, you have anything to say about the gift of love during Christmas time? Yeah, definitely. I, I completely agree with what everybody's saying, Ms. Yes. Sharon and uh, Ms. Renee. So definitely, I feel like we need to spread love and also learn to, you know, love ourselves. Exactly. It's a, definitely a journey, you know, it's probably going to take a lifetime because each phase and each Straight step is going to be mm-hmm. a little bit different. But just do what you can because you can't pour from an empty cup. That's so. right. So, true. so, so true. Um, what you're saying, too, is, and I caught it. Self-care is very important Mm -hmm. during this time because if you don't have nothing to give, then how can you give love or anything else? You know, because it's it's okay if you don't have a a, a gift, uh, you know, a, 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 a gift as far as something that they can see, but you can give them something that they'll never forget. And that is a kind word. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What else do you think you can give them? uh, Wait. Yeah, Ma, that's true. Like, it's not, Christmas is just always not all about getting presents right. and stuff like gifts. That's overrated. It is like, overrated. I mean, like, you just gimme, 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 mm-hmm. all that stuff. But what about love and family, family. and the people that mm-hmm. you're around, all the friends? Yes. Even if you, people that don't have a family and they just look for somebody else. There's a movie out there um, with Amber Riley. Mm-hmm. I, I forgot what the name of it, but, you know, she's been through a lot of stuff. And she tried to find, and she works at a center with a couple other girls who have, trouble girls who've been, like, just, you know, trying to find a family. She started a, a list on Craigslist, mm. try to start an event with her and these girls, try to find a family to spend, mm. you know, Christmas with. Right, right. And they end up, like, you got strangers. You'd be surprised how many strangers would take in anybody, even a kid, mm. even a teenager, to spend Christmas with, to give them that gift of love. And then also this other show, on YouTube called from Darman Studios, where this man and his daughter, the father, you know, he was poor and he was kind of a little behind on stuff. And he was trying to figure out, try to struggle and see what kind of stuff he can do for his daughter. Mm. But at the end of the day, he couldn't do nothing mm. because he was struggling, wonder how am I gonna get my daughter dip? How am I gonna pay the rent? How we don't even have food to eat. Mm. But it's just sad, like, and then all of a sudden he, him and his daughter had these trees, mm. like four or five trees they were giving away. Wow. They were trying to sell them off, but then they ended up his daughter telling him, get the trees free. And a little child shall lead them. (laughs) She got the idea. No, I'm going to let you tell it, but I remember uh, what you're talking about. Yes, and it was a good story. It was really touching. It was so sad that, you know, the man, he was still, even though he made good accomplishments, he did the stuff from kind of his heart Mm -hmm. and his daughter's idea and everything. But it's just sad that, you know, he still kept feeling sad because, I couldn't give you a gift. I couldn't. I can't. We don't even have food to eat. We don't even have how to pay the rent. And what and did she do, though? Wait, what? The girl, what did she do? The daughter? Yeah. She made the idea up. Yeah, yeah, to give the trees for free. Mm-hmm. But then one of those people, mm-hmm. you know, these people who they get the trees are for free, they had their own issues going on. One of them included a lady who lost her daughter last year before mm-hmm. Christmas. Mm-hmm. And then another one being a lady who was kind of grouchy and mean. But she was going through issues with her husband about to go through a divorce. Mm-hmm. But then all of a sudden, um, those people, they gave them joy. The man and the daughter, they gave them joy. So they gave the joy back by giving them a gift, something to eat. Okay, and, that's what I'm waiting on, honey. And one of that's the people, right. and one of the people, that's right. and the lady with the mean attitude going to issue with her husband, the husband is their landlord. Oh wow! And he decided to pay their rent room free. You see what I'm saying? That's, that's what right. I'm talking about. When you give love, God's going to make sure you get it back. It might not be from them same people you gave it to, Mm -hmm. but it's going to come your way. And that's what we're talking about. It's about giving, not just to be prepared to receive, but it's going to come back in ways that you least expect. That's something you want to say, Renee, about that? Yes. Awesome. As he was sharing, one thing that stuck out to me was, being and and as we're talking about giving gifts and presents, yes, if you will, yes, I think it's important. I know even for me, is to be present with people. Wow, that's good. I that's think good. in the that's society good. that we're living in, yes. people are struggling yes. a lot. Yes. And you know, I think that 
the ability to be present with, some, with someone, yes. meaning to just be actively listening, exactly. to sit with them, just to see what their needs just are. But I think we just, again, as I shared, in the busyness of life, mm -hmm. sometimes we forget to be present. Wow. So I think we can give the gift of wow. presence oh, wow. with yes, people. That is so amazing. Because we don't know what how, what's going on with people, and sometimes if yes. they're hurting... Mm -hmm. And we're being present with them. Exactly. You can kind of help them oh, speak a good feelings. word to them. That's right. Change mm -hmm. their circumstances. Yes. So giving the gift the of presence. That's so good. You know, and presence. you made me think about it. Um, Minister Tony, who was here before, oh, yeah. today they're out. Um, uh, we work with him um, in the Men Facing Men Ministries. How, yeah. Shout out to them. Yes. Because they're mm -hmm. today going to the seniors, senior citizens' home mm -hmm. to spend time with the seniors. And I said, that is so awesome. So when you yeah. say presence, spend your presence yeah. with them means a whole lot. That money cannot buy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like for real though. Yeah. Shout out to Mr. Tony. Yeah. yeah. You, do, you and Miss Sonia, y'all doing y'all thing awesome with the company. Awesome ministry. Yes. Like he's a great guy. Mm -hmm. And good people with him, good men with him, yes. supporting him. Mm -hmm. Dang, I wish I could have been there. But <laughs> hey, we here. We here. So, much love. We are here speaking life. And that's what God has called us yeah. to do, to give you a hope, to give you something that only you can receive, that you can enjoy for yourself. And that is speaking life over yourself, over your situation, changing it for the better. We're going to have a song right now. We're going to come right back and talk some more to you oh, about listen. this great Christmas season. You know what Renee means, right? Rebirth, right? Yeah, rebirth, born again. Oh, awesome. Renaissance. Wow. Oh, that is amazing. That is so good. <laughs> awesome. Y'all got that got a good magic name. Got okay. the names, that embrace me of y'all names. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Just like my middle, like what she said, Isaiah, that yeah. came from the Bible. Yeah. Came, came from my came from my my dad, his grandfather's name, Idis. Mm -hmm. But then changed to Isaiah. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 Amen. It's sad that he gone. He could have made, so if only if he was alive, mm -hmm. who oh knows what he could have did. Him, along with Aaliyah, oh, um, left, out, yeah. left out from TLC, yeah. Yeah. and Whitney. And they were like so. Yes, yes, yes. Aaliyah, if she was alive, she would have. She would have been. She would have beat so all. Yeah, she would have beat all these, yeah. she beat all all these girls. Oh, she probably. Because yeah. she was original. Would original. She, original. Would, she be, would she be better than Beyonce? Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. No, no. Put them both together. That would definitely be good. Yeah. Well, yeah. She, but yeah, she's got that. She's got it. She's yeah. authentic. Yeah. Yeah. Authentic. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Give a love on Christmas. Give a love to the man on the street, the people upstairs that just you know probably been on getting on your nerves. Show yes. some love. And you'd be good. surprised what a come back to you, right? Exactly, Ma. You got to show that love, especially if you're alive today. You got to appreciate. Thank God that you mm -hmm. made it. Because mm -hmm. there could have been certain situations where you've been through. Mm -hmm. You've been, you been, you could have been through the good or the bad. You could have been through the worst, mm -hmm. but you're still here. Take still advantage. Here. Take mm -hmm. advantage of that time while mm -hmm. you're still here and mm -hmm. try to do some good and try to figure out, even if you don't know how. That's right. There'll be always somebody. Or you can think about it. God will show you a sign. He will. He will show you. And as we always tell you, he'll lead and guide you. The only thing you have to do is to make yourself available to him. Spend some time with him. Even in this season, you know, you want to do something different, maybe that you haven't done before, and, and make a difference. You know, as um, Tyler was saying, mm -hmm. you know, make a difference in this world. Put Get your positive input into it, yeah. because it will matter. It will matter so much to someone, you know, and, and that's what it's all about. Exactly. It's about spreading 
what God has given to you, helping and blessing somebody else. Yeah. It doesn't have to be something superficial, something mm -hmm. that you can see as far as a, 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 a gift per se, you know, but it can be just saying hello. How is your day going? Yes. You'd be surprised people yes. that, that will lift up. And it didn't cost anything. Yeah. Right, right, Cause, right. Because just like, just like that time, Mom, um, we was at church and... That a few months ago, mm -hmm. we was passing out gas gas cards. Yeah, to everybody. Yeah. it was that and, still helped exactly. me. Exactly, and people it made me were feel like, so warm. "Now I can get to where yes. I'm going." But it was something that blessed them so much. But it didn't. It wasn't something that cost a lot of money. Mm -hmm. But they loved it and were blessed from it. Now you know. Right now, we we want to talk about um, during this season some things that we could maybe uh, tell the radio world they can do to be uplifted. Um, some things that, you know, may come to your mind that you can give them to even more enhance the positiveness of Christmas. Um, if anybody have anything to say about that, we could do that now, you know. Anybody have anything to say about it? The positive things we can do to enhance people about Christmas as far as giving them, you know, uh, an encouraging word. I know we said that even more being able to, as um. Uh, Renee said, you know, uh, sometimes it's good to cook somebody like, I, I, I love to cook. So I'll she go first and I'll be like, She's you know best. what? I knew this lady that had lost her husband. And um, I said, you know what? I'm going to, instead of just cooking for my family, I'm going to cook her some chicken and dressing. And I'm going to take it over there to her. You know why wow. I said that? Because number one, she's an older lady. She used to be a cook, right? And now she doesn't cook as much because she's older and she really you know don't want to do all the cooking so i'm gonna bless her like that and i think she would really appreciate it and she's gonna be surprised <laughs> anybody else got something that they can add i think it's a good time to um you know as you always this time of year is really a lot of i reflect a lot yes and i spend a lot of time alone in preparation yes. for the new year yes. and all of that. Oh, yes, yes. So I would say um, also to think about how you can, you know, saying something, maybe something you wanted to say to someone that you mm. haven't had an opportunity that to say. That is good. Um, life too short. Life. Yes, because mm -hmm. life is very short. Very short. Yes. Um, having that conversation that maybe you needed to have that mm -hmm. you, you might not have had a chance to. Or, yes. uh, or if there's something going on with somebody, mm -hmm. like I said before, like, it's like, I also saw on TV where this one lady was like telling this girl, Who's going through so much problems? Like, if y'all know the show, if y'all heard the South Beach Toe, and uh, the lady who's a manager over there, um, she asked this lady who's causing problems. She was going through a lot of stuff and been told a lot of times. And the girl, the manager, just asked her, "What is wrong? What is wrong with you? Is everything okay?" Mm -hmm. And then you know she was pregnant. The manager girl, she was pregnant at the time, but she's wondering what's going on. Mm. So, but at the end of the day, you know, the girl come find it. She broke down, but then. You know, opened up about what's going on and you know they hugged it out and said told her, and she told her they was gonna be okay. Mm. And she believed it. Mm. Yeah, positive word is so important. Um Tali, you have anything you want to share? Yeah, definitely. Just to piggyback off of what everybody else was saying, like, you know, sometimes it's the things that seem small to us. Yes. It's big to other people. Like mm, if right. someone's like, That's Well good. my throat's feeling a little itchy today and oh, you mm. know, they're telling you that and most people might just go about their day mm. or they'll ask, you know, how are you doing? You know, and yes. people really told people how they really are doing, like, hey, my throat's itchy, mm. or I'm not feeling so well, or I feel lonely, and me and sure. uh, my mom bond, bond, uh, bonded, excuse me, over, like, coffee or mm. something like that, and you go and get them, I don't know, Starbucks or a local mm. coffee <laughs> shop, support that business, you mm. help them out, got them That's something good. that reminded them of their mom, just like the things that seem small can be so things. big. Yeah. That is things. so good. Oh yeah. my, that is so, so That's good. Facts right there. Yeah, it is. And it's so awesome because, you know, these things can make a difference in the lives of the people that you come in contact. And you know what? Sometimes it can change their lives for the betterment and you wouldn't have even known it, but God has blessed you to be able to say those things to them. You know, without knowing it. So it's so important to give people, you know, things like that because of the fact you never know who you're touching and changing for the better. Um, I have some positive affirmations that I just want to talk about. 
Mm -hmm. And um, it's just going to be a few I'm going to share right now. It says, I can let go of the negative past experiences that I had Christmas and bring on new memories. That's good. Mm -hmm. That's good. <laughs> mm -hmm. It says, I choose peace over anxiety. I, I choose peace over anxiety, anxiety, fear, and distress this year for Christmas. I exhale negative vibes and inhale peace and calmness this year for Christmas. Oh, that's good. That's good. That's great. Um, we're going to have another song right now, and we're going to come right back to shut this down and even more give you some great things to prepare for Christmas. <laughs> All right. Mary Mary Want you to share love with someone else. I'm gonna do a few more, then I'm gonna see if anybody has anything to add. Um, a few more affirmations. It mm -hmm. says, um, I this Christmas will be a fresh new start for me. Wow. That's good. A fresh new start. I'm gonna do something different for the betterment of my life, for the betterment of what and who I am. That's good. My heart is open to love this holiday. Mm, never know when your heart's open to love. Never know what Christmas gift you might get. <laughs> and the last one is taking the opportunity to give others a great reward. And a great reward could be just like we said, sitting down with them, talking to them, speaking life to them, making them feel so much better. It's so important, y'all. We are here to inspire you, to encourage you during this Christmas season to let you know that things are going to be all right. Just push your way through because you've got something great in you that we want to make sure you let come up out of you. Anybody else got anything to say uh, before we leave? I just want to say that I think um, as you prepare, I just want to say this to everyone that's listening, as you prepare for um, the new year and Christmas, just a friend told me the other day, and I was so I'm so grateful to her. She shared, you know, reminded me how important it is to to express gratitude. Gratitude, hey, amen. Sometimes yeah, there's course. there's so many things that we have to be thankful for, mm -hmm. and sometimes when things don't um, feel good yes. or you're just going through a rough yes. season, it's hard to remember that there's so much to be thankful Thank for. Thank you. That is so awesome. And to think about not to be so hard on yourself yes. and to know and understand that you're doing a lot better than you think. And that Good. God loves you. Yes. And that whatever you're going through, that you'll get through it. It'll pass. It will pass. Yeah. This too shall pass. Like everything else that's passed. And you still made it through. So look forward to a great future. Merry Christmas to you all. Uh, Tyler, did you have anything to oh. say? You're okay? 
Um, yeah, just a quick message, you know, just continue to, you know, love yourself because again, mm -hmm. just piggybacking off at the beginning, you can't love anyone else or spread love if you don't love yourself. Exactly. So definitely do That's that true, and sis. just, you know, stay positive yes. and just know you're loved. Even if you don't see it, you're yes. loved yeah, by definitely. someone somewhere, whether it's now or in the future. Thank you. Also, yeah. awesome. This is Sharon Dotson and... And this is Wayne R. Dotson, her son. <laughs> speaking life to you the way that God has given it to us. Thank you to our guests today and even more, we ask God that you celebrate yourself during Christmas time and see the awesomeness of God that of God coming through you to bless others. Have a wonderful Christmas. Merry Christmas. Everybody say Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. <laughs> and awesome. We'll talk to you later. Bye. <laughs> Say bye, Tyler. Bye. <laughs> bye. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. <laughs>